Hey, friends, today we're gonna be drawing a Japanese beetle. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need a marker or something to draw with, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do this. Aren't these things the things that tear or yeah, they like eat bushes? everything? Yeah, yeah, we're trying to control them in the United States. Yeah, they're just like, <laughs> and then boom, shredded bush. <laughs> exactly. They're like little piranhas yeah. of the garden. Yes. <laughs> We're first gonna start with his back. We're gonna draw a little V shape in the middle of our paper. Then we're gonna curve to connect the top. Then let's draw two diagonal lines coming out from each side. And we want these to be the same length on both sides. And we're drawing the top version of our beetle. And so the left side is gonna be exactly the same as the right side, which means what? Symmetrical. Yeah, it's the same on both sides. Now we're gonna draw a big upside down U to connect the left diagonal line with the right side. Then we're gonna draw the head. We're gonna draw a shape that comes up, over, and then back down. Yeah, then we're gonna draw the eyes. We'll draw a little curve on both sides of that shape. Now let's draw the antennas, they're really weird. We're gonna draw a line that comes out, short line, then a diagonal line down, and then we're gonna draw kind of a club shape at the end. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Short line out, diagonal line down, and then a little club shape on the end. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we go too fast during a step. What can our <laughs> friends do? Pause it. Yeah, you can pause the video if you need extra time. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna draw the wings now, or the back of our beetle. We're gonna draw a line, straight line, down from the bottom of the V. Yeah, then we're gonna draw a big curve. It's gonna come around underneath like this. Looks like a big J. Then we're gonna come up towards the top of our beetle. And right at the end, we're gonna curve back in. Yeah. Now we're gonna draw that same shape on the right side. Draw that big curve down at the bottom, curve up to the top, and then right at the end, curve in. Well, I came out further. This is not quite symmetrical, the same on both sides. <laughs> That's okay. Yes. Let's do another detail. I'm gonna come out further like this, around, come underneath, and we're gonna keep going all the way across on the other side. And watch what I'm gonna do on this side. I'm gonna do a little different. I'm gonna come up, and then I'm gonna cross over. Now this is just because I went a little further out on this side, but you could just, yeah, the way you're supposed to. <laughs> you, you told you told me to go in a little bit, oh. and I was like, okay. <laughs> but then I realized, no. yeah, okay, you're just supposed to keep going. That's all right, right? Yes. It's okay if our two drawings are a little different. They both look awesome. I'm sure their drawings look really cool too. That's because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Pra practice. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> now down here at the bottom, let's draw another U shape underneath our beetle. Now we get to draw the really cool legs. We'll start up here and we're gonna draw a line that, or a curve coming out. Then we're gonna draw a diagonal line. Then let's draw a U, sideways U shape. And add a, another little bump and then we're gonna curve back down and connect into the beetle. Oh, that's so cool. Let's do that same shape over here. We'll go a little faster since we're repeating the same thing, but flipped. So curve, diagonal, sideways U shape, little bump, and then curve back in. <laughs> that one's a little smaller. That's all right. Now let's draw the rest of the leg. We're gonna draw the outside first. We're gonna draw an S curve. Curve one way and then back the other way. Yeah. Now right here, let's draw a little hook. Then we're gonna draw a diagonal line back in. Then we'll draw a line down. Then we can draw a zigzag line back into that first diagonal line. Now right at the top, we're gonna draw another spiked curved spike. Gosh, they have the coolest little feet. Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's repeat that same step over here, but flipped. We'll draw an S curve. Curve one direction, back the other way, and then hook at the end, diagonal line in, and then a line down, and then a zigzag back into the first segment on the leg. Yeah, and then we'll draw that curved hook at the top. 
Oh, he looks so awesome. Let's draw the second leg. We're gonna draw it aimed down. We're gonna draw this big curve that comes down. And let's keep going even further. Then we're gonna draw a hook on the end, curve back, or line, short line back. Then we're gonna draw a line that comes up, and then stop about halfway, and then we're gonna add some thickness, and then connect it in. Let's repeat that same step over here. Draw a big, long curve down, little hook at the end, diagonal line back in, draw halfway up, and then curve out to add thickness to the rest of the leg. Now the back legs are super muscular. They look really tough. We're gonna draw a big U shape that comes out first. Then we're gonna draw the thick part of the leg. We're gonna draw another curve that comes down. I'm gonna stop when it lines up with the bottom. Whoops. That's okay. You went a little further. <laughs> That's fine. And we're gonna draw a little hook that comes out then we're gonna draw a curve underneath, like a U-shape. Then we're gonna curve back up to that first segment. <laughs> it looks <laughs> like it has a foot. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> looks like it's standing yeah, you know. up. It's awesome. Now we're gonna draw the rest of the leg. We're gonna curve down close to the bottom of our paper. We're gonna use all of the space. Then we're gonna draw a little hook that comes up or another little line that comes up and then let's connect it into the outside line. Then we're gonna draw the rest of the leg coming up and follow it into that top shape. All right, now down here, we're gonna draw a couple of V's on top of each other up to his knee or whatever that's his <laughs> the <knee>. segment. <laughs> now let's draw a few spikes. We're gonna draw one sticking out here. Then let's draw three little ones down further. We can also draw a little spike on the outside. And I'm gonna add three little lines on the little hairs. Set. Yeah, three little hairs. We're gonna add a lot more hairs later, but let's move over to the right side and finish this leg. We're gonna repeat the same step, so we'll go a little faster. We'll draw the U shape. Then we're gonna draw a curve that comes out. And then right at the end, we're gonna hook back the other way. Oh. And Whoops, strong way. No, that's all right. No, you're cool. I'm gonna draw that same, that's fine. I'm gonna draw what you already drew, and then we're gonna curve back up to that U shape. Yeah. Oh, I like how strong those legs look, man. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the curve on the outside, curving down to the same length. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw that first spike, or claw talon thing <laughs> we're gonna draw and then we're gonna curve back out and then connect up to the top what was the next step the little upside down v's yes yeah we'll add those then let's add the little hooks we're gonna draw a big hook up here three little ones down further we could draw little hairs on the outside i'm gonna draw a little couple more over here on this side then we'll draw the three little ones. Let's do one more thing. We're gonna add a line right down the middle of this leg. Yeah. We could also do that same line up here on the middle leg. And then let's do one up here also. I'm gonna draw it close to the inside. We did it, Jack. We finished our Japanese beetles. They look so cool, except they're gonna look way better all colored in. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. job on coloring your beetle, man. It turned out super realistic. Yeah, it did. Now we first colored our beetles with what? Markers. Yeah, we used green and orange markers to color our beetles solid. Then we used colored pencils on top of that. We used our blue and black and also yellow and white colored pencils to add the shading and also the highlights. We used the blue and black for the shading and the white and yellow for the highlights. 
highlights make the beetle look shiny. Yeah, that makes them look really shiny and super 3D. They almost look like they're popping out of the paper. Yeah, they really do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Japanese beetle. Yeah, I'm sure they turned out really cool. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.